What if I told you I couldn't stay Take me or leave me You can still walk away Hello my butterflies, Jin here and welcome back to Bluntly Honestly and if you are new I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So today I'm going to be playing with a bunch of new makeup giving you a bit of a channel update, letting you know what's been going on lately with me. I know I did not upload at all last week and I've just been going through some stuff so we're going to talk about it. I'm going to try not to be a blubbering mess while talking about it because you know it's been stressful. So first and foremost I'm just going to jump right into doing my eyeshadow with this new palette and we will talk while I'm doing all that. So I'm just going to start with some primer. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So I guess I should probably start with why I haven't been uploading, right? I mean, that's what you guys are probably all wondering. And if you've been in any of my game streams, I have talked about it. If you watch my streams that I do with Kit Kat Games and Beauty, I went in depth and talked about it on Thursday. I'm not going to get as in depth as I did there just because I really don't feel like it honestly because I went deep, deeper than I had planned and talked about things that I really wasn't planning on talking about. So if you are interested in hearing the full story, I will put a link down below for that stream. It's kind of a long stream, it's an hour long stream that we do every Thursday. So if you're interested in hearing the full story, I'll put a link down below. So this is the Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro Regeneration Revelation palette. It has a lot of very, very pretty fall colors in there. Okay, so I guess I should start with why I haven't been uploading. Really all I can say about that is depression sucks and it hits all of us no matter how happy or good your life may seem you know a lot of times when you suffer from depression you tend to make a mountain out of an anthill and that's basically what happened um, for those of you who may not know this past week I hit a milestone I hit 900 subscribers 900 amazing butterflies and yeah I was super super excited and happy about that but for some reason it kind of triggered something in my head that I wasn't used to. Um, it was kind of like this voice telling me, what are you even doing? You're not good enough. Your channel's a joke, blah, blah, blah. Your life is a joke. It was stupid. And looking at it now, I don't know why I let it get to me so much. So I went in with this nude shade right here, Good Intentions. That was just to set my primer. So now I'm going to go in with Passion, which is this one right here. I originally decided to take a step back and reevaluate like what I was doing with my channel. Like where am I going? What am I trying to do? You know, like am I building a brand? Am I having fun? Am I here to make money? Am I here to make friends? All that, you know? And on top of all that that was happening, me and my husband, you know, we've been together for almost 10 years. And I think you kind of stop thinking about how your actions affect your loved ones after you've been together for a certain number of years, if that makes sense. Um, we kind of had a heart to heart and he was telling me how he knows that I'm trying to build my channel. I'm trying to build a platform here, but for the last month or so, he has felt like our relationship, him, our marriage in general, and his feelings have been just put on the back burner. And I was upset and angry because I didn't really understand where he was coming from. I felt like I had been doing the best that I could to try to balance both. And I kind of just realized, like, why am I even trying to balance both? You know what I mean? Like, yes, 
I love YouTube. YouTube is fun, but my marriage needs to come first. First and foremost, before anything else. Okay, YouTube could be taken down tomorrow. You know what I mean? And if that were to happen, who's gonna be there when YouTube's gone, everyone who I talk to are gone? My husband. He is the one remaining factor after all this is done and over with, after I shut off the camera, get offline, he is the one who I lay down in bed with every night, who I wake up to every morning, and for him to feel like I wasn't reciprocating that really, really kind of hit home and made me realize that I need to reevaluate my focus. And it came down to me realizing that I either need to quit YouTube altogether or try to find a healthy balance and I felt like a really huge hypocrite because I am one of the first people when my friends come and talk to me to tell them to find a balance you know focus on you and your channel needs to come second to your real life and all that blah 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 but I wasn't doing what I was telling other people to do so it really hit me like crap I'm like I'm sitting here preaching what I'm not following and listening and I need to step back and take a break you know and then last Friday I got an email from my college my professor at college with a huge list of demands oh and if you guys are wondering I'm using R37 by Morph it's just a blending brush and I'm going to pick up Awaken which is this really pretty gray well, she sent us an email, mind you, two weeks before the class starts, with all this required paperwork that needs to get turned in, immunizations, drug tests, TB tests, vaccinations, background check, physical, all this stuff, and I was like, you couldn't have sent this like a month ago when we had more time. So all that at once really hit me and I broke. I sat there on the couch and was just like stressing out majorly, freaking out, thinking you know, my marriage is over with, my YouTube career before it even starts is over with, I can't handle all this at once, I have so much to do. So that was why I decided I didn't upload it all last week. I game streamed every day last week because for me, game streaming is more relaxing than creating content because I can just sit there, chat, and hang out. So it's much easier on me to do a game stream that is to sit and create. And I felt like I had lost my muse for YouTube because I sat there and tried filming three times last week. And every time I would film, I would get about 10, 15 minutes into the video and I would just lose focus and it just wasn't the right time for me. You know, like I needed that mental break. I needed just to check out for a bit. I will be posting every item that I use down below for you guys because I am an affiliate with Make Revolution, so I have an affiliate code for you guys to use and coupons as well to get you guys a percentage off your order so i will post those all down below now that i have water <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my too faced glitter glue honestly too faced is my favorite primer for my eyeshadow it is my go-to so i'm going to plop this on the inner corner of my eye out to the middle we're gonna kind of do like a light smoky eye buffed out color if that makes sense I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and I'm not very good at it so now I'm picking up R42 which is a flat shadow brush and I'm going to take the shade Ooh, there are so many glitters to choose from let me see that one's a little too chalky so I'm going to pick up innovate which is this like really really kind of nude shimmer and we are going to place this right where I put that glitter glue that's pretty I really really like this palette the colors are very blendable and pigmented 
it is much different compared to the um, Revolution Reloaded palette that I used. That one was really chalky, but this one I'm liking. Okay, so we are going to pick up this R39. It is another blending brush, but it's a little bit flatter. And I'm going to pick up Influence, which is this burgundy right here. And I'm just going to try to dark it up my crease right above where I place that gold so it does have a bit of definition this is the part I'm kind of afraid of I'm hoping I don't mess up this look but I really want to play with this darker color so I'm going to pick up Great Minds which is black right here and if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I tend to avoid black shades, but you know I think it's just gonna work. So I'm gonna put this here just to kind of make sure that it stays within a range. And we're gonna just going to very lightly tap the black on here. This is R35, it is a flat blending brush. And we're just going to tap. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so after we've tapped, I'm going to go ahead and blend to kind of darken it up a bit. So yeah, back to the story. Um, so that was pretty much the main reason why I didn't upload last week and why I'm only uploading once this week. I'm going to try to upload another video on fingers crossed. I can get it recorded and edited. Uh, I'm really hoping I am because it's a video I'm very excited about. Um, it is a hand-in-hand -hand collaboration with a brand who was nice enough to send me a product for free. And it's a product I've used, or a brand that I've used and I've done videos on before. So when I reached out to them about doing a collab video together, I was honestly shocked when they said yes because you know I'm such a small channel. But I feel like with the, the recent up changes in the PD community, this is going to be happening a lot. Um, some of you already know Gerard Cosmetics recently opened up their um, affiliate program for smaller creators, which I jumped on and joined because I love Gerard Cosmetics. I've been a huge fan of the brand. and I, So those of you who know my channel know that if before I ever sign up for an affiliate with a brand, I will try their products first to make sure I like them. So I went ahead and ordered the Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is in Cucumber. And then I also have a Tremat Liquid Lipstick in 1995. This color is just gorgeous. Let me show you real quick. It is such a gorgeous mauve. I love it. So I'm going to be wearing this today. <laughs> so let me finish this eye. So yeah, I did join the affiliate program with Droid Cosmetics. So if you guys are interested, I will have my affiliate code down below and my discount code to get you 30% off their website. It's Blindly Honest is my code. I'll have that in the description box down below. I'm working on and going through all my affiliate links and changing them and dropping some because, I mean, there's no need for me to have 20 different affiliate codes in the description box, you know what I mean? Yes, it is all brands that I love and use, but I mean... It just gets to the point where there's too many and it just looks bad. So I may end up maybe once a month going through and remixing them if I remember. Because I want to stay authentic for you guys. Because I don't want you guys to feel like the affiliate codes and links down below are because I'm asking for money. Honestly, the main reason why I signed up for affiliate codes was so that I could get the coupon codes to share with you guys. So, I've been thinking once a month, maybe, 
to do a video either at the beginning or the end of the month. Probably at the beginning so that the codes are still good. Um, doing like an update with my affiliate links and posting the current coupons and discounts that they sent out. So let me know in the description box below if you'd be interested in that type of video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and lately I have been using two different primers. So this is the NYX Shine Killer Primer. And it is like a, I think it's a silicone based primer because the way it comes out, it is clear gel and the way it feels on the face, I'm fairly certain silicone based. So continuing with the channel update, I have a big update for you guys. Um, so like I said before, I'm in an externship program. So this other primer I've been using, because I do have some dry parts on my face. This is the Makeup Revolution Revolution Pro Shine and Hydrate Primer. It smells so good. It smells almost like coconuts. It is amazing. I love it. Um, it's primer and moisturizer in one with moisturizing ingredients. It has um, hyaluronic acid in it, which helps hydrate and it helps keep the look in place. So. This one is water-based, and it is a white cream, and it has like this really nice pump on it. I like it. I like this primer. I wish they had a larger bottle of it. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I am in an externship program. I'm going to school for um, administrative medical assistant is the certificate. But really, I am focusing on medical billing. So, I have been going to school for this for almost two years now. And it is time... Oh, my eyebrows are all uneven. Whatever, I don't care. It is time for the externship, which is um, 12 weeks. I thought it was 8 weeks, but it's 12 weeks. I'm going to go ahead and conceal my face because as you can tell, I'm all broken out. I'm back on a skin regimen. Um, along with all this makeup from Revolution, or make Makeup Revolution, Revolution Makeup, I also got their new Lactic Acid Hydrolic Acid Combo, a 2% retinol. Um, I've been seeing a major, major change in my skin this past week, so I'm just happy to be back on a skin routine. I don't think I'm going to do any more um, skincare product reviews, I'll just stick to masks because that stuff that I used just ruined my and tore up my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and conceal my face and for that I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer, red, green, red, green, and yellow. You guys know how this stuff works, you should. Uh, the yellow, green is to combat redness, yellow and red I mix together to make like a peach to combat the darkness under my eyes. Which honestly is not that bad. Anyways, so my extra ship is going to start hopefully this coming Monday. It all depends on if I get my paperwork all done. I did not realize how hard it was to find an office that does vaccinations because I have to get my TB test. Um, I need I think HVP vaccination, pretty much all my vaccinations have to be updated for this class, which I mean, thank God my mom got me vaccinated as a kid because I already have most of them done. I just have to go get them updated. I did, was able to find a, a copy of my old immunization record from my school and it had my grades on there and I was so embarrassed seeing how bad my grades were in high school. It was all D's, F's, and like one C. I was horrible at high school, horrible at school, basically as a kid, I hated it, which is weird because now as, a, as an adult, I'm like looking forward to class starting. I'm looking forward to learning new things. I don't know, I feel like I didn't really care much for school back then and now I love it. I don't know why. It's weird. It's very weird. My face gets like randomly red in places. So with the externship starting, I, I keep going off on rampages or rampants. With the externship 
starting this coming week. I am probably not going to be able to do makeup videos because my externship, because the externship location is almost an hour away from me. I'm going to be working in the billing department at a um, hospital in the town where my college is and that is almost an hour away from me and it really sucks because you know that was the whole point of doing online college because I didn't want to have to travel. But, I mean, it's only, I think my professor said I need 90 hours, which I have from now until December to do. So, that is going to be very, very easy. I'm hoping I can get at least three days a week. Because I want to get it done with as quick as possible. But there is a chance that I can get a job doing this, which, so there is a chance I can get a job where I extern or at least be per diem and called in as they need me, which I mean, yeah, that's exciting because it's what I went to school for. It would be really cool to be able to actually get a job for what I went to school for because I know that a lot of people spend a lot of time going to school and then are never able to find jobs in their field. It really, really sucks. But I'm honestly not 100% sure if it's what I want to do anymore. Um, I love being on YouTube and filming videos and uploading and connecting and meeting new people. And part of me is feeling like if I go forward with this schooling my eyebrow is all crooked. Yeah, dang it. Oh well, we'll just ignore it. Um, I feel like if I were to go forward with this class and with everything going on, I'm not going to be able to focus on YouTube as much, which I mean, I should be lucky and feel lucky that there's even a chance I can get a job because I've been employed for almost a year now or over a year now. No, I think it'll be a year on the 19th. So by the time this video goes up, it'll be a year. So I'm like upset for no reason, really, because I'm lucky and yeah, it's just stupid the way I'm thinking about it because it's what I went to school for. It's all this time and money and effort put into this class and I'm finally at the end of it. So I'm just going to like buck it up and finish because why not might as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. This is the Elsie Micro Sleek Foundation in Vanilla. I got this foundation at Fame Expo, but somehow it fell out of the bag and ended up underneath my um, seat in the car, and I did not find it until like a week ago when I was cleaning out my car. So yeah, it's still good. It's only been in my car since June. I really like this foundation because it really blurs any imperfections that you might have. And I like using my Beauty Blender with this foundation just because when I used it with my more foundation brush, it really, really looked streaky and nastier. So I use my, my, uh, blending sponge instead which this is just a blending sponge I bought from Ross <laughs> I don't even know what the brand is anymore I had a blue one from Beauty Blender I lost it not sure where I left it at honestly and I really wanted to have the blue one still because you guys know blue is like my favorite color now so found this one at Ross and I was like heck yes yeah, my one complaint with this foundation, it's not about the coverage. The coverage is amazing. It builds up very, very easily. My complaint is completely like off the wall complaint. They do not have very many shades. Like honestly, I think they have maybe eight different shades. I may be wrong, but given the day and age we are in makeup right now, they need to step up their game. They may have changed it since we were at 
Fame Expo, they may have added more shades, I'm not 100% sure. I just remember the shade range there at Fame Expo was very, very limited. So I really feel like nowadays, if you are a makeup brand and you don't have at least 40 different shades in your lineup, you're way behind on the times and you need to step your game up. But you know, that's, that's just my thinking. And there goes my chance of ever working with any brand ever because I'm talking crap. So time for some concealer. And this is my new favorite concealer. This is from Makeup Revolution and it is the um, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. But I love this concealer so much. It is my favorite. I ran the last one down so much that I ended up going in with a small flat brush to get it out. So I'm sorry if I keep jumping around while talking and talking about different subjects and then jumping back to another, a different subject and back and forth. So while this externship is going on, I am probably going to be staying out of town, which is why I was saying I may not be able to upload a lot. Um, I'm going to double up my concealer just because I really love this one. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind and it is the Brightener Illuminator. I love this concealer. I've been using this stuff for, I don't even know, like, since it came out, honestly. I swear when they say childproof on stuff like this, they mean gin proof because I can never get it off. So yeah, this found concealer, you kind of just spin it and it'll pop it out through the sponge on top. But it takes a few spins to get it out to begin with. Yeah, I've had people complain about this concealer because they feel like the sponge eats up too much. I don't think that because my last bottle of this stuff lasted me almost two years. But then again, I don't use a, a lot of it, so that might be why. But yeah, so during my externship, I am staying out of town at my mother-in-law's house. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of hangout streams just to chat and unwind after the end of my work shift just so that I can still hang out and talk to you guys, update you on what's going on. I will be bringing my camera because I mean there may be a chance I can find some time off time to film. Let me grab my powder. So this is a newer product for me as well. This is Wonder Powder and it is from Glossier. It is super, super mattifying. Like let me show you. So it has this netting inside. I don't want to lose that powder in there. But um, so it has that netting in there so it really holds the powder. But I love it because it goes on and you kind of just like pat it in until it blends into your skin. But it just like instant matte. I love it. I need to keep this in my purse because the shade is perfect. It, this is shade light medium. I did not get translucent. I don't even know if they had a translucent powder, honestly. But it, this is perfect for setting your foundation. I don't remember seeing a translucent though, unfortunately. So back to the externship. Um, one of I have I've had this towel on my shoulder the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> one of the really really kind of crappy things about doing this externship is I have to dye my hair because apparently the blue is not professional for the college for working in the hospital it's not okay so I will have to be dyeing my hair blue I think I'm doing that Friday I was going to have a friend come up and do it but of course, the one time we were trying to plan to do something, everything that could go wrong could go wrong. Her car broke down, her dishwasher busted. It's been a, like a crap week for the both of us, so I've, I am going to do it Friday, and I think I'm going to have my mother-in-law do it, because she's going to be here at the house, because this weekend is my niece's fifth birthday, I believe. I'm really sad to say goodbye to the blue hair. I've been letting it fade, 
I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but I've kind of let it fade. I've been washing it without my color conditioner. And I did get this um, ion color remover stuff that is supposed to remove the color. I'm going to do that Thursday night. I'm just so sad. <laughs> I've had my hair blue for over a year now. And that is the longest I've gone with a hair color for a while. And I mean, it's my channel logo, you know? So I, I feel like I am saying goodbye to a part of myself, part of my identity. It's really sad and depressing and I'm mad by honestly, when I got off, we had a uh, meeting Saturday with my class online using Zoom, which Zoom is amazing, right? Yeah. Um, so we all had a met up on Zoom and had just a class conference and after that class conference I'm not even gonna lie I stormed out of the room and went to my husband like, I am quitting this class I am not doing this class and he's like why what's wrong I'm not dyeing my hair I'm not doing it I'm doing it I've already came so far and to not finish the class over a hair dye is stupid so it's only a few weeks. I fully, fully plan on going back to bright blue after all is said and done. Uh, I am still gonna be slightly blue. I'm just going like dark as black blue, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and, con and do contouring. I'm gonna use a brush from e.l.f. This is just a flat angled contour brush. Going in with the Kat Von D shade and light. And I'm going to pick up Subconscious and shadow play, and these two right here, and I'm just gonna cut my face. So yeah, um, hopefully that's why I'm trying to film at least three videos this week. So I still have my bright blue for at least a little bit longer. And it kind of sucks because I just started going through and changing a lot of my old thumbnails on my videos to include my logo. So if you guys go and look at my older videos, they, they have the new thumbnail design on them. So I'm trying to make all my videos look more cohesive, except for like my gaming videos. Honestly, I'm not going to change those. Those already have a set design on them. And I don't feel like changing those much. That got cut and this side is not want to cut. So yeah. Um, I'm going to pick up Somber, which is this really dark, and I'm just going to lightly blend it over the light shade just to give it the definition. I'm picking up R11. I think this is a blending brush, but it's really big. It's too big for my eyes, so I use it for my powder. And I'm picking up Lyric which is that yellow shade and putting that under my eyes and then Levitation and Lucid which are the two right here I'm going to put those to highlight my cheek so yeah I'm really really upset about dyeing my hair I really wish I could just put it up and not have them worry about it but when I put my hair in a bun, I feel like I look like Mrs. Trumbull from Matilda, so I don't really ever do a bun. I think I've done a bun a few times on this channel, and I did not like how I looked, so. But watch, I'll guarantee you I'll have a bun in my hair in a week from now. So now I'm going to use this big oversized kabuki brush. This is from e.l.f., because you guys know I love e.l.f. And I will try to link every single brush that I've used down below as well. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. But no, I don't have a Morphe affiliate code because, I mean, come on, I only have 900 subscribers. But I will still do my best to find every brush that I use because I know you guys like that kind of stuff. So I'm really trying to step up my game on here and be more professional as a beauty channel. And I'm sorry if this video is like 10 hours long, but... I just wanted to update you guys. I had originally filmed like a short little Snapchat and was gonna upload it, but 
I did not like how it looked. Like, I don't, don't do that normally, you know? Like, I've done a few. I think one Snapchat video on my channel, and it was a birthday shout out for Kit Kat Games and Beauty. And, and I did not like how that Snapchat sit down was because at the time I was still dealing with my little emotional break and it was obviously fake happiness if that makes sense like I was giggling and happy and excited and that wasn't how I was feeling at the time that's why I've waited so long to do this video because I wanted to wait until my mindset was in a better frame to be able to talk about this. So now I'm gonna go in with this Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. This is old. I've had this for God knows how long, but I love it. I'm going to pick up this angled brush by Luxie. This is the 504 Large Angled. And we're just gonna pop that on. I like this bronzer because it's like a nice natural glow. I'm gonna go over it with some Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. This is a very, very old sample size. I don't know why I have not just went ahead and bought the full size yet, but I love the Too Faced put scents in their stuff, but I mean, sometimes scents can be overwhelming. This blending brush, this is from Unimix, and if you guys watch one of my old, old videos, I actually have all these video these brushes from this brand. I reviewed the whole lot of them. This is like one of the only ones that survived from that long video, and it's stained and old and nasty. I need to update it. I need all new brushes. Like, these are my face brushes, and I've had most of these brushes since I started YouTube. Like, these ones are new. I got them at Fame Expo. This one came in a, in a Luxe box or a, a Boxy Charm. This one's from Fame Expo. But a lot of these, like, this one's from Sephora. And I got this brush before I even started YouTube. Like, <laughs> and I've been on YouTube for almost two years now. I need to update my collection one day. One day. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to buff out my bronzer. So for highlighter, I'm using my Carity Highlights. This is the gold palette, I believe. Yeah, I did a review on this palette. I will link that down below as well. Or I'll put a card in for you guys. But I think I'm going to go in with Ravish, which is this one right here. I love this this highlighter. It does not really turn ashy like some do. Then we're gonna pick up Lacy and put that on top for some boom. Yes. done I'm gonna go ahead and put some color under my lid influence which is this brown right here I don't think that's dark enough so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of great mind which is that black and I'm gonna try to buff it in there without being too dark awesome so now I'm going to take Advocate, which is this really pretty gold right here, and that's going to go on our inner corner. Alright. So now for the finishing touch is some lipstick, and this is the 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics. And there we go. 
So now I'm going to finish this look off with some Slate All Day the Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray in Cucumber. Mm, it smells so good. I love how this stuff smells. All right, I put the setting spray on, but I forgot to put mascara on. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And it's supposed to be like the amazing mascara. It's supposed to do a lot of lifting. So we're going to see how it looks. Okay, not bad. It is kind of clumpy, but I can deal with a little bit of clump. Oh my god. I do not like this mascara. Let me just say I'm glad I got a sample size because I do not like this mascara. Oh my god, it clumps up so bad. I thought we were over and done with the era of clumpy mascara, but I guess not. I was trying to broaden my horizons because the only mascara I've been using lately is the Beauty Bakery mascara. And I think I'm going to be going back because I'm not a fan of this one. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this mascara. It clumps. I had to brush it out, which you should not have to do with a mascara. Mmm, that sucks. You know that it looks okay, but... But I don't want to put lashes on right now. So I was really hoping the mascara would do it for me. But it is pretty disappointing, honestly. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, I know I talked a lot, but I want to show you guys off all these new products. Um, anything new that I use, I will put in the description box down below, as well as the brushes. I'll try to put down in the description box every single product that I use if I can find the link. How about that? Yeah, cut me some slack on that though because you know I procrastinate. So yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And especially right now, since my upload schedule is very sporadic and random, being on, having my notifications turned on are going to help you out a lot if you want to catch my newest videos. And I know I was streaming, I think, every Monday at 2 o'clock doing video games. Because my externship is going probably to be Monday through Friday, I will most likely not be doing game streams for a while during the externship. I'll probably be doing a lot of after our hangout streams, after my extra trip is over with and I'm home at my mother-in-law's house just relaxing. I'm going to try to do those at least once a week, maybe every day, it just depends. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get going. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to make a comeback, trying to stay current on my channel, but no promises just because of this extra trip. So yeah. I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers. Man, I miss saying that. Make sure you guys check my description box down below because I have merch, t-shirts, and stickers for you guys to check out. And with that, I'm gonna get going. I love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away.